this name. I'm Mac. I just plain old Mac. I dyed my hair brown. Hope you like it. I can sing a song if you want. Let's see. Um, twinkle, twinkle moon. I think of you. I don't know how the song goes. Hey Logan, I like your name, Logan. I'm just plain old Mac. I dyed my hair brown, but that's about it. Hope you like it. I can sing if you want. You know what I sing? A twinkle, twinkle, little moon. How I wonder what you do. No, that's all I know. You're gonna be safe. I'm just helping out. Your mom doesn't want you living on the streets. So Gustavo's gonna take you to a better place. Okay? You'll be, you'll be there soon. Is that, Is that the cops? Might be Gustavo. Hi Claire. Hello everybody. You probably don't know me. I've been an undercover agent for many years. Um, anyway, so who said it can go up and do this and in Mali? But why was there an explosion in their brand new space? I mean, he must be cooking. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, he was selling um, Mali, he was a drug dealer. But why was there an explosion in their brand new space? I mean, he must be cooking. Um, Shatter. That's like a brown sheet of shiny toffee. Kaiser, it is so good to see you again. I'm happy to be here working with you. So what have we got? We're opening up the cold case of the baby abduction, which happened 13 years ago. The girl who had given birth escaped before the cops could arrest her. Um, they were nowhere to be found. And not a baby anymore. 13, that's nearly a teenager. I used to be in there for 28 years. But now she can hear everything. Oh, cool. So, how did you get your hearing back? I was the audiologist. Uh, soon, uh, she'll be able to talk like us. It takes time. I'd like to know more about that. I could take you out on a date, but you know the company's policy on dating coworkers. So, this is a pretty dangerous career, right? Investigating into the prostitution ring? I've always wanted to be a FBI agent, but right now I'm a, a platform. She's an undercover cop, like me. Um, so why was the young mother wanted? For prostitution. Back then the society looked down on these women. They saw them as unfit mothers, that it wasn't in the best interest of the children. Yes. The, um, we're trying to help women get out of, get out of um, prostituting, and it's very difficult to get out of that profession. There's boys now, like the women, they're not immune to the deception of these predators. This woman, she's all grown up. She could be as old as her late 20s. It was a very dangerous project. His girlfriend was a call girl got a third degree burn on her arm. So they're not living that kind of lifestyle anymore. They want to run a restaurant business after a certain time. A lot of people get back into that life eventually. It's difficult to get a second chance.
So, Barika and you are in high school? Yeah, Barika's going to be, wants to be a pediatrician. I'm going into nursing. Hmm. You okay there, Hal? Uh, yeah. Sometimes I just worry about my daughter. I mean, is she ever going to catch a disease in her life? Well, probably. Oh, well, how did you run the, how did you run the exam? I wish I could at least was lucky enough to get a B plus. Anyway, I'm going into the medical field to make my patients feel better. But my teacher said that like you can only do so much, and sometimes you just gotta leave it to the universe or God or whoever to let it do its thing. I wish I could be as optimistic as you are about it. You know, Cal, I was in medical school in my twenties. And after being a doctor for a few years, I got used to this grim reality. Um, Brika's coming with Logan. She, he no longer really needs that, the Doesn't your friend have any manners? She just can't barge in. No, it was my fault. I'm sorry. I told her I could wheel her over. But all this time, I've had a slightly gummy feeling about you. There's something about you that slides a fox, but you've always got something up your sleeve. Hi, Logan. I'm so glad you could come. Did you enjoy the music? Your mother was tickled pink that you could come. Well, by the time she graduates, I'll be about 37. Well, uh, at least you enjoyed your 20s. <laughs> yeah. It's not wrong there. It's true. Um, yeah, uh, how about we slow down a little bit? Um, you've been down this road before, right? Never with anything this sweet. This is like apple pie. I don't like apples. Um, how about lemons? Either way, I should have had myself a taste of them a long time ago. So, uh, you're definitely getting yourself worked up. You yeah, haven't seen anything yet. So your name is Xavier, right? That's, that's a unique name. So I want to know what they call an angel like you. Olivia. Olivia. Why do you look familiar to me? So, how much am I worth? Well, you start fast, I'll give you that much. And let's say I give you, uh, how about 200 for the next two hours? Deal. Mm -hmm. So, Olivia, right? Mm -hmm. I want to remember every little detail. Have you ever even done this before? Let me guess. You were a teenager out on the street. Started turning tricks because you had a baby to support or some nonsense like that. Deal? Deal. Olivia. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Olivia? My other name is Detective Richard Banks. And you're under arrest for soliciting prostitution. No, actually this 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 is a huge Just misunderstanding. Relax. You 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 need to on my phone, there's you need to get my phone and call my supervisor because this is this is a huge mistake. I'm not supposed I'm not this isn't supposed to happen. I'm I'm this is not what it looks like. Just take it easy. Yeah. Nice work. Just call it in. Damn it! Fuck! You're a funny hunter. Why are you here blowing our cover? To collect our booty? Order. Didn't you realize we're in hot water for and take them to legal action? You caught nobody. I thought I did the right thing. I didn't know you hired Olivia as an undercover cop. Or was she? Yes, yes. I don't need warrants to make busts. I catch my fugitive anytime, anywhere. You Sorry, Olivia. 
I, I can't believe it. It was such setup. Yeah, it's it's okay. It happens. I mean, it never happened to me before, but I mean, they could have. I could have been forced to. Uh, we got you. We got you. Mm -hmm. My mind was whirling. I my instincts were telling me this guy Xavier wasn't real, and I'm confused. So you had me as an actress, and he was just one of you. Yes, um, I thought I heard Ricky's voice, and, and I recognized it, but I couldn't do anything. I mean, I had to wait. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to finish getting ready for work. Oh, um, I have a business card, and you can call anytime. Okay. Bjorn, right? Yeah. Okay, I, I might call. Thanks. Okay. Be prepared for losing this case. We stay up late until the week morning. Yeah, and we haven't forgot our answers. You know our client life history. Mm -hmm. We need to do is defend our guy. So Gallic wins. He's overbearing, repugnant, and obnoxious. Yeah, I feel that. Whatever it happens, we need to take whatever it is. Yeah. Mm. Why we're here? Well, the courthouse is being repaired. You remember the tornado. People panic too easy. I am wonder who the judge is, since the town judge is under the weather. Okay. County court is now in session. The Honorable Hideki Sato now presiding. Thank you. Uh, you may be seated. Right, we have here. Um, we have a case of the state versus Gustavo Bustamante. And are you ready? Yes, we are. Yeah. Great. Yes. Then will the defendant please arise? Uh, Gustavo Bustamante, you have been charged with the crime of kidnapping. How do you plead? Not guilty. All right. Gustavo's mother and father were killed in an accident. That's when I took him under my wing and truly my life was fulfilled again. I, I really don't know where I'd be without him. I really don't mean to disrespect you, but was it your daughter-in-law a madam at the brothel? Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. I swore an oath. I'm not trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes. My grandson is a loving human being and really a blessing in disguise. Why, I think I know. I don't know if I can handle this case. Can you handle it? Well, if you have to go, I can always take over. I won't let you down. Okay. Excuse me, Your Honor. I'm not feeling as well. What? Everybody having the flu? Quiet is perfectly capable. We've gone over this gate all week, but I'm not feeling well, so I don't want to pass this flu around. Understood. So Mr. Keene will be taking over for Ms. Lopez. Is that correct? That's correct. All right, let's proceed. As I understand it, my next witness, Olivia, can't testify. She's also come down with the flu. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God? Yes, I do. My father has lung disease. It was really contagious, and it spread faster than jackrabbits. So, why didn't your mother get another job? Babysitting? House cleaning? Well, my mother is, she's deaf, so she has a communication problem, and a lot of people have a problem understanding when she talks. So, so no one else would hire her? No. Um, she, you know, she had moral dilemmas and upbringing. 
problems, you know, so she basically just became like a mother figure to all the other ladies that worked there. So what you're saying is any mother under these circumstances would do anything it takes to take care of her child and her husband? Yes. No more questions, Your Honor. You kidnapped the baby. Objection. Sustained. That's for the jury to decide. Sustained. Holy Mary and Joseph. Did you sell the baby for a profit? Or did you murder the baby a long time ago? Objection, Your Honor. He's badgering the witness. Sustained. Mr. Golick, any more theatrics and I'm going to hold you in contempt. My apologies, Your Honor. Gentlemen, would you please approach the bench? Mr. Galt is an antagonizing prosecuting attorney. My apologies again. Maybe we can have his daughter testify. Well, we don't normally allow children to testify without some kind of document, documentation by a licensed therapist. Cotton? All right, uh, let's see here. The child psychologist report states that the child shows a healthy state of mind with normal behavioral for her age. Um, Mr. Gallick, you can continue. So where is the baby that you didn't kidnap? I gave it to a couple. You gave it to a couple. I understand the father was a client. Looks good to me. Mr. Gallick, would you like to continue with Mr. Bustamante? So, where's the baby that you didn't kidnap? Objection! Sustained. I gave it to a couple. Sin. Sustained. Mr. Gallick, you may want to rephrase that question. So what happened to the baby that you had in your possession? Gave it to a couple, I don't know their names. Well, who's the mother? I understand the father was a client, but who sent you to take the baby? I don't know. So you just took the baby out of the blue and just tossed it to a stranger. Daddy, it's me, Logan. I'll be 14 soon. I want, I want a sweet 16 party. You owe me one. I'm not a little girl anymore. I love you too. I don't want a governess. I want to go to school. I want friends, not pets.
She told me. It's me, Logan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know. Gustavo can't keep hiding here. But Logan just wants to be free. Hands up! You have a right to be silent. Lisa Ann. How clever. I see that you don't have a gun. How did you know my name? I grew up in this city. I know all of the undercover cops. So you're not Gustavo, are you? No. Who are you? No, I'm Mac. Gustavo is my street name. The real Gustavo is my big bro. I ended up meeting him riding my bike around one day. Who's Logan? How are you related to the closest daddy? Yeah. So who's Veronica? No, I don't know. I only met her once. So is Logan the baby who was taken 13 years ago? I don't know. I was about five when uh, I was about five when I was asked to get the baby from the prostitute. She was a kid herself. No one, not even the cops, knew that I was holding the baby. I handed the baby to the Gustavo and I haven't seen him since. So since you are volunteering to tell me more, I might as well keep asking. Who did Gustavo give the baby to? I don't know, Lisa Ann. No one knows, not even Gustavo. Not. You were found not guilty of a felony. The action against you has been resolved. That man in the courtroom was Logan's mother's customer back at the brothel. He didn't know about the baby until last year. Logan doesn't need to know about him. Just let her believe that you're her daddy. What about Mac? How are we going to get out Logan? I'll bail out Mac. As for Logan, I've got the adoption papers. You take her and her mother to my estate in Sicily. In two months time, when I close the clinic and my sister gets settled in my mansion, I'll be in Thailand with the Peace Corps. Wow, that's so amazing. You took her in and her daughter. Something must give. She and her child are my pride and joy. The beauty of her music opens my heart more than you can imagine. It's really cool that you reaped the benefit of the bounty. I really wish my mom could have met you. Kellen, I don't even know your real name. The subtlety is warm. It soothes my soul. A little at a time. My life is such a mess. You put my mind at rest Realize What's the difference between you and me? I don't have a
Yeah, 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 yeah. Sky. So you tickle him with the legal action. Cut.